Baseball certainly enjoyed the nice spring weather yesterday, and football is going to love it too. That's right. Yesterday, Kirk Ferentz cracked some jokes about how bad the weather has been lately, but I'm sure they'll enjoy the warmer temps with their spring season kicking off today. Yeah, with more on what Ferentz said about to expect this spring, we have DITV Sports Director Lucy Rodine standing by in the newsroom. Good morning, Lucy. Good morning, guys. Now, Lucy, a few weeks ago, Iowa announced that longtime assistant coach Reese Morgan would be retiring. How is Iowa's hunt for his replacement going? Obviously, it's not easy. Reese Morgan was a huge part of this program. He was here for 19 years and one of the lead recruiters. But the thing Kirk Ferentz joked about yesterday was, Iowa doesn't have much of a D-line right now, so we're not missing a whole lot in Morgan. So there's no huge rush to get that 10th spot filled. So Iowa's really taking their time with this process. But Kirk Ferentz said there is a lot that goes into the process of hiring a new assistant coach. I had a good meet with the defensive guys. Um, before we, we left and just kind of laid out some things on paper. I thought they did a really nice job of articulating what, what's really important for us, uh, basically deal breaker type things and then things that are, I think, worth considering. And uh, the bottom line, uh, the most important thing, it's like players on your team, you want somebody that's going to fit in with what we're doing, uh, hopefully offer some new ideas, new perspectives and uh, what have you. Got an open mind right now in terms of, you know, a veteran coach or a younger guy. I don't think that's necessarily uh, critical. Uh, but bottom, bottom line, we're just going to try to figure out what the, what the best uh, complement is to what we have already. And uh, we feel pretty comfortable with our defensive system, the way we're doing things. Uh, not that you're not looking to tweak and change things, adjust things, but uh, you know, feel like we have a good thing in place. And so it's somebody who's going to obviously uh, see it kind of the same way we see it and, and then hopefully add to the, the group. But uh, for Iowa, we're not going to see them in action this spring. Uh, they announced yesterday, the athletics department did, that there is not going to be a spring game this year because they have to do a complete turf replacement at Kinnick. So they decided just no practice, no spring game out on Kinnick. They're going to work on fixing this turf, but it won't be the only time we see Iowa football this year. They're still going to have a couple meet and greets and go to Des Moines. But here's what Kurt, Coach Ferentz had to say about getting the players out in the community despite not having a spring game. It's most important to get this addressed now, get on it as fast as we can so we don't have any complications in August. And uh, for all the people that were going to come uh, for the spring game, hopefully they'll uh, show up for Kids Day and uh, maybe double the crowd that we usually get there. But that'll be the next time we're out there in, in the public. But uh, this is not going to be a, an annual thing. It's just a, one of those unforeseen circumstances. Uh, moving forward in the springs, we plan to have an open practice, at least one open practice uh, each and every spring. So we'll continue that. And, We'll try to find other ways to get our players out to interface a little bit. Despite the fact that we're not going to have a spring game, we're still going to hear from the assistant coaches and the players over the next couple weeks because spring ball starts today. And we still have a whole lot of questions about what we're going to see from Iowa football this year. The defense is probably the biggest question mark because we've lost so many guys. And how are we going to replace the two-headed monster at tight end with Noah Fant and TJ Hawkinson? But those are all questions we're going to try to get answers to over the next few weeks. Declan and Tanner, back to you guys in the studio. Thank you, Lucy Rodine, live in the newsroom.